at first we are going to take a reference picture and after taking the reference picture we are going to choose a bright red color from the palette before starting our process I want to mention that the main focus of this procedure is measuring the distance the most important thing for me because accuracy is based on the distance and to capture it perfectly I measure the distance of the reference picture we are going to pick any brush from the line art pens you can choose deep pen if you want now we are going to start measuring I usually start from the eye as you can see I'm trying to get the measurement of the eyes and the vital parts always remember to mark the part that is bending or has a curve like the eyebrow and now we are going to do the lips I actually forgot to do the middle line of the lips but it's not going to be a problem you can do it if you want to I only draw the vertical line I forgot the horizontal line and now we are going to draw a triangle if you noticed my works and then we're going to draw a rectangle at the bottom okay so we are just going to point a small line just to make sure that our measurement is accurate and we're going to continue that until we are done And make sure your line is confident enough if you think the line is not confident then don't do it just erase it and redo you don't need to like keep on going at one place again and again in that way the line art looks messy and some people have messy liners that's fine I just like clean line art that's it and to be honest line arts are not that important to me so I don't really mind 
about it that much but because this this is a tutorial i'm trying my best for me the painting is more important i fix the problem in the line art so when i paint it So now we are going to draw the nose based on our measurement. If you notice that I am barely repeating the strokes and you should do that too. Drawing a confident line is kind of tough sometimes but if you keep on practicing you can do that of course but if you focus on like very slow lines and trying to draw with very slowly and very precisely the result won't be good it will look like your hand is shaking the line will be very shaky and we don't want a shaky line and at this point i was very irritated with constantly looking at the corner and drawing so i stopped it and used a split screen to look at the picture with more ease So you can do a trick here, I guess many of you know it already. If the picture is simple enough, then what you can do is copy the eye and paste it in a new layer and then go to the layer, flip it horizontally, then put the eye in its right place. Now it's time to draw the lips. One of the interesting parts that I really love to paint. 
i know i'm repeating myself but once again be confident with your lines don't make it shaky just do it in one go I don't know why did I do this but this looks horrible the lip corner should not look like that the lips are connected I don't know why did I do it but don't worry I will fix it soon and you guys also don't do it the corners of the lips will always meet Whenever you are creating the line art, make sure to look at the zoomed out picture time to time. Otherwise, it might look weird when you zoom out. Sometimes when we are so busy in looking into the details, we miss the actual important part, the perspectives. So always remember look at the whole picture time to time otherwise you're going to be really sorry i think by now you know the important aspects of creating a line art so the number one aspect is to measure the distance for accuracy the part the number 2 is to look at the whole picture so that you don't mess up the angle the perspective and the shape and the third part is to draw confident lines in one stroke so that you don't have any shaky lines or messy lines do not overdo okay so these are the three important things that you need to keep in mind and that should be it you should be having a nice line art to work and if you are a realism painter then you don't really have to worry about it much because at the end of the day this line art is not going to exist in your drawing the painting will And to be honest this is not really an interesting part to draw for me but even if it's not that interesting it's really important because it's the base it's the support of your drawing now watch me finish drawing the rest of it and i'll get back to you soon
so now you have your line art you might be wondering why I did not work on the left ear because you know I'm going to shade it black after all so why would I do the extra work you shouldn't also do it if you are still worried if the shapes or the lines are not aligned or something what you can do use a horizontal ruler and check by drawing red lines of course in a different layer not on the line art layer otherwise it's gonna be ruined okay actually not ruined you can undo it but yeah you know what I mean so that is how you can see that there is no problem in the drawing and now draw your heart away I mean paint your heart away hopefully it was helpful to you I would look forward to your feedbacks and I'm going to finish this drawing and post it next week hope you look forward to it See you in the next video.